that chaos and destruction continues to cover the land of Jamaica, the land of wood and water, is become a land of blood and bones. So right now, my viewers, one killed, five injured in St. Anne mass shooting. One man has been confirmed, DEAD, and five other injured in a drive-by shooting in the quiet farming community of Orange Hill in St. Anne on Wednesday afternoon. It is reported that shortly before 1 p.m., a group of men were at a shop in the district when a motor car drove up and shots were heard from the vehicle hitting the men. The vehicle sped away and the police were called. More details will become soon. Man murdered in Grangeil, Westmoreland. A man was shot and killed by unknown assailants along Salmon Street in Grangeil, Westmoreland. On Tuesday night, he was identified as 35-year-old Adrian Brown, as our otherwise called Hansman, a farmer of Crowner District in Grangeil. The incident happened sometime around 8.20 p.m. It is reported that Brown had earlier attended to his cows and then went to visit his father. While walking along Salmon Street, he was pounced upon by unknown assailants who opened fire eating him. The police were summoned and upon their arrival, Brown was discovered suffering from gunshot wounds. He was rushed to the Savlamar Hospital where he died while undergoing treatment. So we have a small little update. No motive in Brownstone attack that left one man dead and five injured. The police are yet to establish a motive for the shooting of six people one fatally in Orange Hill, Brown's town, sentence on Wednesday afternoon. The deceased has been identified as Ricardo Campbell, 22 of Orange Hill. The injured persons are currently being treated at the Sentence Bay Regional Hospital. Their condition are not known. Deputy Superintendent of Police Ryan Gay said the police received reports about the shooting about 12.15 p.m. and responded. It was reported that a group of men was gathered at a location in the community having drinks when a black Toyota Voxy motor car drove up. Two men reported to exit the vehicle and opened fire at the group. At the end of it, six persons were shot, one fatally, Gail said. With the assistance of members of the county, the community, the injured persons were rushed to the Sentence Bay Hospital where they are currently undergoing treatment. Gail said the investigation into the shooting is ongoing with the police seeking to establish a motive for this deadly attack. Kane Cutter accused of killing his girlfriend gets bail. Kane Cutter, showing Collins, who allegedly stabbed his girlfriend to death, was granted bail in the sum of 400000 when he appeared in the St. Catherine Parish Court on Tuesday. Now, my people, if you stop it right as of all a small like a reasoning. I don't know what really going on in this justice system these days, but a man who was charged for the death of his girlfriend, who all evidence are pointing to, found guilty and all of that. And at the end of the day, he was granted bail for murder my viewers it's not domestic dispute or or theft it's murder <coughs> yes my viewers i don't understand what really are going with it. this court system these days but we continue just leave some comment in the comment section when collins 34 appeared before the parish judge natalie dixon his lawyer kimoyne argued that Collins was not a flight risk, said his client had surrendered after the incident and that he has a steady place of abode. Collins was then granted bail on condition that he surrendered his travel documents and reappear in court on November 15, 2022. It is allegedly that on Sunday, August 21st, Alicia Patrice, a 24-year-old hairdresser, 
was fatally stabbed by Collins during a dispute at home at Dunfar Lane in Lowndes Vale district in St. Catherine. He was subsequently he subsequently turned himself into the Shadow Grove police and was charged with the death. Boy, my viewers, may I tell you no say the thing sticky, the thing crazy my viewers because we can't understand how a man, a man who is on bail, end up, a man who is on a murder rap, end up getting bail. Yeah, I'm turning himself and whatever, but that doesn't say that is murder, my viewers. Murder. You take somebody's life in spite of the situation or whatever may happen that is still murder but my viewers the justice system there is no system in the justice or there is no justice in the system just leave some comment in the comment section bless up